I stepped in cat poop this morning. I wasn't barefoot, but I was wearing socks. I don't know if that's good luck or bad luck. But welcome back to the project that is my old bay liner. If you saw last week's episode, or I guess the last episode I posted, we laid down the primer. Today, we're gonna be laying down the paint. And here's the paint. We went with Total Boat, Total Tread, non-skid deck paint. Color reveal is a sand beige. Just like my epoxy resin, that's Total Boat. My foam, that was Total Boat. The fairing compound, Total Boat. The primer, the primer thinner, the non-skid. I am not sponsored by these products. I bought them all, my own money. I don't take sponsorships because I think it's all BS when somebody gives you a product and you review it and you say good things about it. I've done it in the past on my other channel, but I always spoke the truth if it was a good product. I would do a review if it wasn't. I didn't do a review. That's the way things go. But I'm only talking about this because if I find a good product, I like to promote that product because I've had good luck with it. I haven't had any problems with any of the Total Boat products. This is my first time using all of them, and they've all came out to my liking. And I like the fact that you can call Jamestown that I guess owns Total Boat or whatever, Jamestown Distributors, and talk to people about your plans, and they give you advice. I called them today about some things. But... I only got three of these because when I ordered them, unfortunately, I ordered them on Amazon. They didn't have a gallon in stock of this color. All they had was the quart sizes. So I got three of them. We'll see how far the three quarts take me today. I'm probably going to have to order in some more because I'm going to be doing two quarts on everything. If you guys are getting yourselves in the same mess that I did, I will leave links to all these products in the description for easy access. Let's go out to the boat. I'm checking where my shade line is because I'm not going to start painting until the boat's completely in the shade. But, take another quick peek at the primer. Oh, I've been looking in here all day. I love the way it turned out. So good. It came out so good. While we wait for the shade to get where it needs to be for me to do the paint, I need to do the prep work. Now the prep work, I need to sand everything down with 220 grit sandpaper and then wipe everything down with acetone after I vacuum up all my sand dust and I'll probably blow it with the leaf blower. Then wipe everything down with acetone, then we can get to painting. If you can't tell, I'm really excited. I've been waiting all day, all day for this. Whew. Hopefully stepping in cat poops, good luck. If you didn't see my primer video, it's an epoxy primer, so it's rock hard, so it's another like another waterproof layer. Enough wasting time. I'm going to do all the prep work, and we'll see you in the shade. And just like that, we are in the shade. All the prep work is done. Did all the sanding and wiped everything down with acetone. Let's paint. Alrighty, here we go. I will say the sand beige is very similar to the color of the primer I put down, which was an off-white. So... I like it. I think that worked out well. There's a lot of solids down at the bottom of this, so I'm just making sure they're all incorporated. I can already see the, the grit. The grit they use is not sand. I will uh, flash up what the grit is on the screen. But we're going to just work out of a can at a time. Oh yeah, look at that grit. I don't know how much you can see it, but it's gritty. Alrighty. First layer of paint going on. It's just slightly darker than the off-white primer. But it's going on nice and smooth. I already feel myself sweating. That's not good. Maybe I'm nervous. Or maybe it was all the adult beverages I had last night. It happens. Now I plan on where this tape is. I'm going to do some sort of trim, but I just don't want to get any any paint places I don't want it. Obviously, that's why I tape off. I guess I don't need that in there. I'll go in there. I'm going to try to keep a, a wet edge, so I'm just going to do a little trim work. And we'll do some, uh, some rolling. Put this somewhere. I'm not going to kick it over. If I do kick it over, we all know not to step in cat poop for you paint something and it's rolling on nice going on nice covering the primer real nice and work hand in hand with the brush make sure I get everything covered 
all my little trim areas my cut ends yeah this stuff covers real nice nice and thick you know how I like them thick you can already see the non non skid tread pretty cool I will say so myself. Pretty cool. All right, this is going very smoothly. Uh, should I mess with that? Probably not. Let's just get this area here. This is where it's not easy to keep a wet edge when you got this huge surface to deal with. Just have to work quick. Quick and precise. Oh yeah, I really like this stuff. You guys are got yourself in a project like this, I'm telling you. This Total Boat stuff works well. Not sponsored, but time and money is one thing none of us will ever have enough of. That's important to remember in life. Never have enough time. And I don't like wasting money. It's enough of wasting your time. Cue the music, so the time lapse. I can tell you that stepping in cat poop the morning of a big project is not a bad omen. Think of it as a bird pooping on your head. It's good luck. We're done. Yeah, buddy. It definitely wasn't as satisfying as laying down the primer and just seeing all the colors change since this was very similar to the color of the primer. It's a little darker, which uh, I think is perfect. I mean, it, it could have used to have been a little bit darker, but I am not going to complain about it. It went on so smooth and so easy, and I was even glopping it on. That uh, little tiny quart, that little guy right there, I still have product left in it. I may use six or seven eighths of it, but I had two more sitting right here ready to go and all my other stops. But I got it done with less than one quart. The high build primer was two quarts and I barely got it done. So that shows you the difference and I guess thicknesses of it. This stuff went on like paint, imagine that. This is also coat one of, I might do three now if I have enough paint. The more coats you do, the more non-slip it is. If you guys have been here since the beginning of this project, wow. It, it, it feels like only yesterday I was ripping the rotten floor out of this thing. And here we are coat one of the paint on the floor is done <sighs> all the other coats on the floor obviously I'll do off camera no sense in making another video on that we might make a video on painting some of the other things and building some of the other stuff not done yet the project is still not done yet but what a place to be <laughs> oh man I promised my boys homemade pizza so I got to get the cooking my neighbor's cutting the grass. He does it every day. Sorry if you can hear that. He doesn't have a life. Must suck. That's mean. His life is cutting the grass. So that makes him happy. So that makes me happy. Uh, you ready for pizza, boys? What do you think? Good. Good? You know how much hard labor I put into this? I think it says good. Don't you want to catch some catfish so we can make some catfish nuggets? No, 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 no. <laughs> the paint is wet, bro. What do you think I've been doing all day? Not twiddling my thumbs like you. <sighs> Alright, buddy. Let's go make some pizza. Alright, I gotta go make some pizza and clean this mess up. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, God bless.